When you're in the mountains, everything else disappears. The only thing that stays is the challenge of reaching the top. Fear and pain dynamize existence. It makes us grow, become resilient in the face of adversity. When you are in the mountains, you fight your mind, the limits of your body and your fears. You learn to take this challenge one step at a time and be rewarded with the greatest views and conquer your own limits. My name is George and I set a bigger challenge for myself, the peaks of Europe. I will climb the highest peaks of every European country, big and small, from Vatican to Kazakhstan. The mountains are calling and I must go. Hey and welcome to this video. I'm George from the channel I'm Travel Roads and this is the first episode of the Peaks of Europe and I'm here in Portugal and I am about to climb the highest point in mainland Portugal in the Serra da Estrella Park. I started and made already my first few kilometers from the beautiful town of Covilla and in total today and tomorrow we will make around 50 kilometers up the highest peak and then continue on top of the mountain range. I am super hyped and super excited for this new series. Have fun with this video. Mount Torre, meaning tower, is the highest mountain of mainland Portugal and it's located in Serra da Estrela National Park, meaning Star Mountain Range. Serra da Estrela is a massive mountain range and it's about 100 kilometers long and 30 kilometers wide on the widest point. Mount Torre is actually only 1,993 meters high, but it reaches actually higher. But later, more on that. The summit to Torre is actually quite strange. Sansa paved road leads all the way up to the very top. Since I lived the last years in Portugal, I could not imagine a different country than Portugal to start the peaks of Europe. So it felt pretty much like a home game. And this will be the tour details. I start from the town called Covilla, where I spent the previous night in a hotel. Most people coming from Covilla summit Torre following a trail next to a street. I although want to spend at least two days in Serra da Estrella, so I decided to make the route longer. From Covilla I will follow some mountain ridges till a village called Busa, where I then will climb up to a mountain 200 meters lower than Torre. Make camp and continue the next day till Torre. After that I will continue hiking on the Estrella plateau, till a town called Mantegas, where I can take then a bus back home. Total distance roughly 52 to 55 kilometers and an elevation of 2680 meters in total. For the first day there is a perfect weather forecast. For the second although rain or snow on higher altitude and heavy wind. Because the summit to Torre is relatively easy I decided to continue with the climb despite the weather forecast. With the right equipment in the backpack I simply hope for a good weather. Have fun with this first episode of the Peaks of Europe and please support this tour through Europe by subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much. There, this town, this is Covilla, that's where I started. And now at 1161 meters elevation. And we reach the top of this plateau here. So now I think we continue something like this and then go down. And there then the actual mountain range that we climb up begins. Ah, it's beautiful. Good, let's continue. Look how amazing the colors are. Everything is blossoming. Beautiful. Spring is my favorite season. Look on my wall like neon paintings And I'm so tired of being honest To everyone but myself I do it so well We were so good at flying But we can keep flying We keep getting stuck On the wrong side of the mountain We were so good at trying I think I need now to go all the way down here to this small village or to these houses that are there and then going somewhere up here and then cross this whole mountain. And if you are silent, you can actually hear him. He's screaming. Georg, Georg, climb me! 
climb me. I hope you can see it, but down there is a stream. And here I will filter some water. Hopefully, I hope the trail actually goes like this. Ah, water sources, mountains, grass, everything green. I'm really happy to be back on mainland. I miss this. Don't get me wrong, the Canary Islands were really nice and I saw a lot of cool stuff. But really, after four months, um, this volcanic environment, it's really nice to be back in a green, lush environment. This means lunchtime. I will eat quickly and then I also filled some water. I am out of my three liters and we'll get another three liters for the rest of the day. And later on, there should be another river where I can then filter the water for the night and for the morning. But now I'm really hungry. So, lunchtime. Good old tortillas. Actually, I bought them in Spain in the canneries. Uh, some tuna. I don't know what this is. Another can with something and some sausage. That's the food for the champion. Uh, and, oh, it's nice here. Amazing view and gourmet kitchen. After lunch, I used this perfect opportunity to filter water. Actually, you could drink this fresh mountain water directly. But in case there's a carcass up the river, I filter it anyways. With a filled stomach and fresh water, it was time to climb back up and to make elevation and distance. It's getting up. Really steep. It's beautiful. Amazing trail. It's quite hot. I thought actually today would be fully cloudy, maybe a bit of rain. But it seems we got really lucky. Let's hope tomorrow it will be not that bad with the rain. I checked before the forecast. It's supposed to start at 3 in the morning. Quite heavy rain and then alternate between heavy rain and light rain. At least I can use finally my rain cover. Hello, don't bite me. Meh. What do you want? Oh God, hello. Oh God, are you biting? Bye bye. Look at the little goat there. The little one with the mini horns. Oh God, this is so cute. Okay, to my defense, every animal with horns is a bit scary to me. As a small kid, I had a bad experience. It wasn't the animal's fault, but as a small kid, I thought it would be a great idea to ride a goat. Well, surprise, it didn't end that well. And somehow this accident is still stuck in my head. Oh, wait, I'm not sure if this is actually the right track. My GPS says yes, but the trail I'm following, that seems nothing. Let's see. Remember in the beginning of the video, I told you about the height of Tor, which has an altitude of 1,993 meters, so almost 2,000. But the mountain actually reaches higher. On top of Tor is a landmark. It is said, but not confirmed, that in the beginning of the 19th century, King Joao VI ordered the erection of a stone monument on the top of the mountain, in order to complete the altitude to reach to 2,000 meters. Ooh, it's getting up and up and up on this narrow path and the most difficult part is actually that it's not really marked and it's not really a clear trail so I lose constantly the trail and need to make some detours <laughs> but uh, it's fun 
it's a really nice trail, especially the fuel. Look at this. This is beautiful now. So these things here, these stones, are the trail marking. And those I follow, additional to my GPS route. But it's quite difficult to find stones in stones. Untraveled roads community, stone, stone, untraveled roads community, and the family of the stone. Beautiful! Slowly but steady, the sun began to disappear behind the mountain. It was important to finish the incline before I could make camp. I run against the time. Well, actually, I run against the sun. It's now 7 o'clock. I want to hike one more hour because it gets dark at 8, 8.30 and I have quite relaxed time to make camp and everything. The big problem is uh, my actual trail would go basically up here and then along this cliff, which is I think four, five, six kilometers. And my worry is there on top, I'm not sure if I can make camp because also at night it should start to rain really heavy. So probably all the water starts floating down here. And probably it's not a nice spot to make camp. And the second option, I just checked the map, is I continue a different trail, I think it was a four kilometers something like this, along here, that goes to a village and maybe I can make a camp before I reach the village and then I continue tomorrow, basically go back to the actual trail. More or less the same distance, I don't know. The wind became stronger and stronger, a first harbinger of the forecasted bad weather. At 3 a.m. heavy rain was supposed to begin. Eventually I decided to be on the safe side and hike towards the village and make camp along the way. After nearly an hour it was time for me to find a spot and make camp. But while searching I stumbled across something and immediately escaped. <laughs> I just made camp, I found a really nice spot that was also a bit protected from wind and I was just about to take my backpack off and uh, next to me, like five meters away, was a wild pig standing there. Um, I didn't see any child. Now it's spring and uh, wild pigs are harmless. They don't do anything except if they have children, they are protecting the children. Then. Mm, so I would say I, I moved very fast away from the wild pig. I, as long as there's light, I will go closer to the village um, and we'll look out marks. Normally wild pigs are following always the same streets and you can see it, but soon it's completely dark, so I don't know. I continued hiking towards the village. In the meantime, it already became pitch black. I pushed quite through, it's now I think nine or something. It's completely dark, I didn't find anything anymore to so I'm getting pretty close to the village. I decided that we go now up to the village, see what's there, maybe uh, we can make some better camp. And yeah, uh, here's a river I need to cross now. After another 300 meters of elevation and being pretty tired, hungry and also frustrated, I decided to eat here in a restaurant in the village. I arrived in the village and I'm now in a coffee. Well, the bar and the restaurant. Um, the village looks actually quite nice, so we'll eat here. And I'm thinking of taking a room here and just stay here overnight because otherwise I need to go out now and continue hiking until I find a spot. It's a bit of a bummer. I really was looking forward actually to sleep outside, especially because of this heavy rain. Uh, I was really, really excited of doing this. But anyway, the most important is that we continue tomorrow. Good morning! A little bit different than usual. I decided to stay overnight here in this hotel cabin whatsoever. It was really lovely. I had a very nice night and very good food. And I think it was a really smart idea not to stay somewhere out because it was a really crazy storm and crazy rain. And this is the weather for today. Constant rain and very strong rain actually. Nevertheless, um, I will go to the mountain. Um, so I adjusted the route a little bit. We head somewhere in this direction through the fog and reach the top. So basically Pico Torre. And then there's a coffee and we sit down and replan the next route. The original route to the, the, the plan that I cannot do because it's too slippery. Hey, it's less talking, I'm getting cold, it's uh, two degrees, one degree, and I need to put my rain closest on. This is the first tire that I'm able to use it. I had it in Madeira, I had it in uh, the Canary Islands, never had the opportunity to use it because well, it wasn't raining. Now at least I can use it. I love this weather. And you can say what you want, but it looks really sexy. 
Let's do this. Over the night, storm and extreme rain raged. I was really happy that I didn't sleep outside. Nevertheless, despite the storm, I am fully motivated to climb Portugal's highest peak. I had to adjust the route a bit, and on the way I will need to improvise. Because of the rain, rivers went out of the bed. Small brooks are now rapid rivers, making it impossible for me to pass them. Uh, it's pretty cold actually, especially the wind makes it cold. Easy peasy. I'm optimistic we make the summit today. Temporarily I was a bit worried if it might be possible or if I need to cancel it or make something else, but now I'm motivated and not so worried. At least right now, maybe it changes. Hope you enjoyed this video so far. On days like this, always keep in mind that rain is just liquid sunshine. Even if the rain freezes like nothing. So today I can enjoy a lot of liquid sunshine. It might be a problem. My trail goes over this river. Because of the high water I was not able to cross. I decided to follow the river hoping I find somewhere a possibility to cross. If not, I would need to make a big detour. Luck was not on my side and I was not able to cross the brook. Well, the river. I guess the best option is checking if I can go around this uh, lake and uh, if not, back to the street, find a different way. It is what it is. Let's go. Having not found a way to cross the lake, I was forced to make a detour and continue a few kilometers along the street. Yeah, 1500 meters. 200 meters more. I'm on the trail, and if I continue around 100 meters, I am on the actual trail. I really hope it's not washed up because of the rain. So let's go. Short break. If I walk in this direction, I get constantly the eye to the face. Till the top, it was on a current route, only 10 kilometers and around 200 to 300 meters of incline. Because I need to walk along a street and because of the weather conditions, I move forward extremely slow. But I found on the map an alternative trail that I can use instead of the street. First of all, I can shorten. Secondly, it makes much more fun walking on a trail rather than a street. Let's hope it works out. I'm now on a small trail that should lead me back to the street. And then I can at least make a bit of a shorter distance. I need to go up and down. So already it should be fine. Here at least the wind is right now stopped a bit. It's on the other side of this hill. So, uh, yeah. I am a bit tired. Especially I started so many trails that I walked for half a kilometer and then found out it's actually not working and so on. It's annoying. Along this trail I managed to make a good amount of speed and distance. Now there are only two kilometers left along this street that leads up to the very top. On the street and I love it so much. This is by the way an official trail. You can tell by the markings here and by my GPS track. After the two kilometers, I will leave to a small trail, which is then the final summit towards Torre. By now, my hand gloves got completely soaked, and even my shoes started to give up and start to let water through. But I have the feeling nothing can stop me here anymore. For a while the weather became better and even the skies cleared a bit. But then the weather changed again and heavy ice rain began. Standing with the back against the wind because it started to ice rain pretty strong actually. Uh, I'm just waiting if it goes away or not very soon. 
it's really annoying and it hurts and my hands start to freeze uh, what a tough summit uh, I thought actually it would be a really easy one like a relaxed cozy nice summit but now it's exactly at the last 500 meters. Because of the fog, it was really difficult finding the trail and I blindly followed my GPS track. Finally, I could see in the fog the shape of houses and people. This was Pico Torre, the highest mountain in Maine and Portugal, it's located in the Serra da Estrella Park and it was the first mountain on my list. The climb itself is really easy and probably if you have normally we normal weather conditions and if you go the normal route you can easily summit in one day. I however had big problems with the weather as you saw. First of all the wind made it difficult to move because of the fog and lost the trail many times and lastly because the tra rain many trails were washed out I had to try something go back try something else. Nevertheless I summited and I'm really happy about this but as I arrived on the top I was already really tired too wet and also frozen so I decided to call it a day and stop there. I really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more summits and more adventures and also if you subscribe this makes projects like this possible and supports me and my channel i'm at the moment here in austria preparing for the biggest adventure of my life i will not only summit all the highest peaks of every european country but i will also bike through this beautiful continent for live updates join me on my instagram and as i said please smash the subscribe button thank you so much see you next week for a new adventure ciao ciao